in a world grappling with economic complexities and geopolitical shifts. Understanding the nuances of debt. Fiscal policies, and the evolving nature of global supply chains is crucial. Today, we delve into these intricate topics, unraveling their implications for nations, businesses, and individuals alike. Scene 1, The Debt Dilemma. An economist, Dr. Jordan Hayes, stands in front of a large digital screen displaying the US debt to GDP ratio chart. Dr. Hayes, when we talk about debt, especially in the context of the United States, it's imperative to consider the debt to GDP ratio. This ratio offers a more nuanced view than simply looking at the absolute debt figures. The screen shows a comparison of debt scenarios. Dr. Hayes, consider this, a $50,000 debt for someone earning $30,000 a year is overwhelming. But for someone earning $5 million, it's negligible. Similarly, a nation's debt needs to be assessed in relation to its economic output. Scene 2, Historical Perspective The screen now shows historical data on the US debt to GDP ratio. Dr. Hayes, in 1980, under Reagan, the US debt to GDP ratio was a comfortable 30%. Fast forward to today, and it soared past 130%. This escalation, particularly under the Trump and Biden administrations, raises concerns about our fiscal health. Scene 3, The Critical Threshold The scene shifts to a roundtable discussion with various economists. Economist 1. Research indicates that when the debt-to-GDP ratio exceeds 90%, the economic growth starts to falter. The US, now at 131%, is in uncharted territory, where additional borrowing could be counterproductive. Economist 2. This is a critical juncture. We're in a league with countries like Lebanon and Greece, known for the debt crises. It's a wake-up call for fiscal reform. Scene 4. Modern Monetary Theory Debate A University Lecture Hall Professor Stephanie Kelton is giving a lecture on Modern Monetary Theory, MMT. Professor Kelton, MMT advocates argue that countries like the US, which borrow in their own currency, shouldn't fret over high debt. They can always print more money to pay off debts. Student. But wouldn't that lead to inflation, or even hyperinflation? Professor Kelton. That's the counterargument. However, MMT suggests using tools like taxation to control inflation. It's a radical shift from traditional economic thinking. Scene 5. The Global Supply Chain Crisis. A busy port with containers and ships. A supply chain expert, Martin Fletcher, speaks to the camera. Martin Fletcher, the global supply chain is in distress. Decades of efficiency-driven expansion have made it fragile. A single disruption can have a domino effect. The scene shows empty shelves in a store. Martin Fletcher, the pandemic exposed this vulnerability. Now, nations are rethinking their supply chain strategies, focusing on resilience over cost efficiency. Scene 6, Rebuilding and Reshaping A high-tech manufacturing facility in Arizona. Companies like Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Corporation are investing billions in new facilities outside their home countries. This shift signifies a move towards a more secure, albeit potentially costlier, supply chain network. Scene 7, The Future Landscape Dr. Hayes addresses a group of young professionals. Dr. Hayes, we're entering an era where economic policies, debt management, and supply chains will undergo significant transformations. 
nations will form new alliances based on shared values and economic models. It's a period of adjustment, but also of immense opportunity. As we navigate these changes, understanding the intricacies of debt, economic policies, and supply chain dynamics becomes crucial. The decisions made today will shape the economic landscape of tomorrow. End.